this is how I'm going to start the show this week before we introduce ourselves. Okay. Did you know that if you say Jesus backwards, it sounds like sausage? Say juice. <laughs> I mean, if you have eggs, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Say Jesus backwards. It sounds like sausage. Say it. Sausage. <laughs> I'll be damned. I laughed for 45 minutes about this today. You're not on today. your toes. I mean, you should have answered that quicker than I did. Uh, no, but what I'm saying is, is it, I mean, if, you, if you're from another country, it sounds like it. I mean, that's not how we say sausage in the South, man. <laughs> well, if It sounds nothing like sausage to me. <laughs> sausage, sausage sounds a little bit like sausage. Yeah, you sound like you're like... You know, south of the border, <laughs> trying to order sausage. Sausage. I want a little sausage. Yeah. If Mexico and France. Yeah, if Mexico sex, and France that's had the that's, result. Yeah, that's the <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's the Jesus they believe in. That's right. Two guys, one podcast. I'm one guy, and I have both of the microphones on. <laughs> I hope it doesn't cheapen our relationship. Two guys, one podcast, and I'm the other. We're gonna have, get married, have lots of fat babies. <laughs> I win a lot, man. I'm a winner. <laughs> Two guys, one podcast. Yeah, Officer Jim. What are my constitutional rights when you pull me over? <laughs> Two guys, one podcast, and this is the podcast. Uh, so I already got the Urban Dictionary Word of the Day all lined up, mm. but that's about it. I got a couple of news stories. All right. And uh, I could uh, I can find any if you could that'll work. Um, plus, we won't we won't record that long tonight. We'll go, we'll make, because we had a long one last week, we'll go a little short this week. Okay. So you can hear me, though. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me for a minute, though. Yeah. Um. What do you want to talk about? Yeah, about a couple you know, of news stories. First off, let's talk about you. What are you, what are we going to call you? What do, did we decide? Pick a, you got to pick a name. What are we going to call uh, So the names that have been taken are uh, that guy, uh, our mutual friend, our holiday friend. What else has been taken? The hot redhead, uh, the littlest sensei. The littlest sensei has been taken. Um, the banker. The banker has been taken. No, we called him. No, what did we call him? The gypsy, the or the something, the gypsy, the gypsy tycoon. We call yeah, him the gypsy. That, I have a man school. scout badge. Yeah, by the way, too. Ah, good. well, there you go. Well, then, then we're all good then. All right, but what are we going to call him? We still don't have a name. Diamond Jim. Diamond, Diamond Jim. Jim. I like Diamond Jim. All right, there we go, and away we go. Oh, welcome to Two Guys One Podcast. I'm one guy, and I'm the other, and this is the podcast. Join this week. By Diamond Jim, how are you, sir? I'm lovely. Yeah, uh, long time listener, first time caller, so to speak. Uh, glad to have you into the studio, though. No, pleasure <laughs> to be here so far. <laughs> okay, before it gets too far, yeah, I was going to say, let's go straight to let's go the straight. UrbanDictionary.com word of the day. Nailed it. All right, so the UrbanDictionary.com word of the day. It literally did not save that word. Yes, you, you nailed it right up until the point until you, you didn't have the it? thing. Hold on. Oh, sure. Say your new story. Whatever you're going to start with, I'm, I'm about to pull it back up. What was I going to start with? Well, now you caught me off guard. I thought I thought you were all prepared. I got it. There Ready you go. to go. It's we the magic of pets. radio. We, we can edit it. We were talking about animals. We were. Oh, oh yeah, we're we were going to. We, we are going to do that, too. We're, we'll go back to that. Word of the day. UrbanDictionary.com, word of the day. Procrastinating. <laughs> Using masturbation to otherwise occupy yourself <laughs> while pressing matters await. I had a paper to do today, but I spent all night procrastinating, so fuck that noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty. I'm guilty of this. Pro- I'm guilty of this. All the here's Yes, procrastinating. I, I don't know what the exact makeup of our listenership is. I'm assuming, though, many of them are about like us, somewhere between 25 and 40, probably in a fairly stable relationship, or recently were, and soon to be again, hopefully. Don't wish that on somebody. No, it's a good thing. It's a good, it's a good place to be in life. But here's what happens is this, though. All three of us are in a circumstance where most of the time your home is occupied. I, you just had because you, you got your niece all of a sudden out of the blue. True. Like when you've got more than just your spouse in the house or your partner or whatever, alone time is a fucking commodity not to be wasted. And I don't know about you guys, but what I find is this the first 15 minutes of my alone time is always spent 
paralyzed with choice. <laughs> like, like, like what I want to do. Procrastinate or not? Yeah, what I want. Well, I'm like, <laughs> I, okay. I think it's what flavor do I want to procrastinate to? <laughs> well, right. I mean, like it's it's like certainly, certainly yes. I'm gonna dug one out early on. I gotta get that get that in there. But it's like okay, I want a not good for me meal, and then I want to watch a movie that's too loud and 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 you know too uh, masculine for the rest of the household normally. For instance, today I had a three hour window where I was all by myself. You watched Die Hard, didn't you? I didn't watch Die Hard. I watched Dread. I watched the new Judge Dread movie. Have you guys seen this? No. No, It's fucking good. I had no idea. No, it really was. Carl Urban was great and they didn't show his face. He never took off the helmet. I was so impressed. Like I never thought they'd do that shit in a modern Hollywood movie. Anyway, my point is this. I cannot count the number of times where I've had like a two and a half hour window and I'm like, perfect. I can watch that movie that I've been putting off or I can go write a couple of new blogs or I can do this or I can do this or I can play a video game for 45 minutes at a stretch, which I never get to do. Or jerk off to two donkeys fucking each other. <laughs> well, not to two donkeys fucking each other. But yeah, what ends up happening is like I troll the news headlines for 15 minutes and then I'm like, yeah, I'll what? jerk off. And then you, you waste the rest like of the that. time jerking you don't off. You have to say it like What's the e- 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 problem with doing that? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with doing that except that it does feel a little unproductive at the end of it, doesn't it? Uh, it well, does feel a little unproductive when you get to the f- to the finish. Uh, <laughs> Let go. Well, well you know, the, the older <laughs> you set you, your sights too high. You set your bar too high. No, th- those those alone times that you're talking about. The mm-hmm. older you get. You can still have those. Now they just cost you money. You have to do what I did this week. <laughs> hey, baby, go shopping. <laughs> yeah. You, you can get the fuck alone if you it's, want it's to like, bad enough. It's like the good husband's version of a prostitute. It's a, it's a, it's a trip without dad. Like, yeah. I'm so tied up at work. Why don't, why don't you guys just all get out of town for a week? <laughs> oh, mine are gone for spring break. Oh, I love it, man. It seriously cost me about $2,500 to get them the fuck out of here for a week. <laughs> I'm going to be broke in six months. Yeah, like, it's the like most you, like expensive you, like masturbation you, like you ever. Make, you do, I love it. Well, you do the math, and they're gone for a week, so say it's like it's costing him $40 a jerk. That's a blowy <laughs> down at the gas station. $40 a jerk, and, and, and let's see, I got in the, the whole Die Hard trilogy, so that was 25 bucks a pop there. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, I ate two steaks. Those were $85, not counting what I actually paid for the steaks. Yeah, it's, it's, it gets expensive real and, quick. And ate Cheetos until your dick turns orange. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, we were talking before we left the house, uh, and you guys... Okay, so the, the word of the day, by the way... Procrastinating. Procrastinating. Yes. I'm. So I'm 100% guilty of this. Uh, we'll try to fit that in, uh, see if we can win the UrbanDictionary.com word <laughs> of the day. Um, I, when we were, t- we were talking about when I left the house, I am... So Honeybun and I are fully moved in together now. Her house is empty. My place has long since been empty, although now I'm... I was convinced that I was going to get my deposit back. How long are you supposed to wait for that shit, by the way? I don't know, man. I don't know. Forever. Yeah. I mean, like, it's been a month. I'm like, eh. What's like this? Did you use a nail in your house? Like, did you put a nail on the wall? Yeah, I You're not getting lot. any of it back. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about at this point. I was, I like, was really like convinced. That's like a $400 nail. I was really convinced we were buddies, me and the landlord. I was like, all right, I'm going to get most of this back. And you are, as long as you're paying on a timely manner. Yeah, yeah, and I was, and I'm not paying anymore, so I'm not his problem anymore, I suppose. That's all right. Anyway, I moved in with, uh, with Honey Bun, and Honey Bun has not one but two dogs. One of them, I'm his best friend. <laughs> you are. I think you guys have about the same IQ. I think that's why you get along so well. Well, the healthy one... Hates my guts and the one with the mange. <laughs> Let me pet him. So. It's not mange. Please, that, please, he sir. is a sickly dog. Please, sir. I rub my back. It's so. I t- I told uh, other guy one time. It's it's like, it's like if a uh, if a huckster came into town selling snake oil with his brother that was mentally handicapped and he picked on him a little too much and you felt really bad for him and then you found out that the huckster has cancer and you're just like oh that's a fucked up situation all the way around and why did they have to come to my town that's how i feel about those two dogs all right (laughs) just there's like the sick one and the stupid one and and here they are in my life 
And you know, look, I I I, I joke about them. They are in their own little way heartwarming and charming. They also smell like you know dog dick cheese most of the time. Zeus's butthole. <laughs> yes, yes, it's terrible. It's fucking terrible. I'd forgotten. Anyway, my ex-wife was an animal person too. We had fucking cats and dogs. I'm convinced that somewhere in my in one of my past lives, I was either like a, a dude who fucked animals or who <laughs> slaughtered animals in some way. Like I don't know. I was a, I was cruel to animals in a past life. I'm pretty like you owned certain. Tony the orangutan. Something I don't know, man. Like I was in a, it was in a show in Tijuana or something. I it's here's what happens. Animals seem to put themselves upon me. Like I don't, I don't want these animals. I didn't ask for. I was, as a matter of fact, I very specifically set my life up with the parameters after the ex-wife. Hey, I will not. I will no longer be a guy who has animals in his house. That's not a thing that's going to happen again. And then here, Honeybuns comes with two, <coughs> and and she's she's just soft-hearted enough that it's not like I can just wait these two out. Like dogs will die eventually. We'll end up with another one because she'll feel really bad and I'll buy her a fucking puppy. I know how this story goes. You should tell her that y'all should adopt Pony the orangutan and get some extra cash. <laughs> which is, by the way, the, the which, which is, by the way, hands down the saddest prostitute in the history of prostitutes. Pony the orangutan. Pony the orangutan. I don't. I guess I don't know the story of Pony <laughs> the orangutan. Uh, a a whorehouse was busted. I can't. I can't remember what country it was in. Uh, but they found that they had an orangutan in one of the rooms with a mattress and uh, that its name was Pony, and Pony the orangutan, turned out, was one of their top earners. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, yes, my God. Swear to God, saddest prostitute in the world. Um, interesting segue here because my, my first news story is actually about a sad prostitute. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was just wondering how we went from like having animals thrust upon us to thrusting ourselves thrusting upon animals <laughs> upon orangutans especially I mean. um, I don't, why why the orangutan that would I mean I guess it is it's a big face <laughs> gives great blowjobs that big face <laughs> you said that with some authority sir uh, headline. I never fucked an orangutan, but I have fucked a girl or two that did look like an orangutan. <laughs> you didn't fuck the orangutan, but it's you let it blow you. <laughs> I'll, I'll let it give me a handy. Um, Come on, oh, it cost me a, me a banana. Come on, me yeah. and the fat chick I was telling you about earlier yeah. a long time ago. I was young and needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> Sullivan... Sullivan County authorities say a woman agreed to exchange sexual favors in return for a better price on a car. Calls to police. We were just talking about getting a good deal at the car lot. What? What was wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. Calls to police about indecent exposure. Well, I think it was about where she decided to pay up on the deal. I took a hmm. shot in the mouth for ten grand off. Uh, uh, <laughs> apparently, they, apparently they went to <laughs> ten grand. Huh? That's your price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shot in the mouth only. Diamond Jim? <laughs> I can afford you, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> He's not worth it. I can almost guarantee you. I'm, I'm not sure I want to make that purchase. Today, <laughs> but it's all right. I would, I would say it's not a sound investment. <laughs> uh, um, I think the market would bear much, much less. Uh, calls to police about indecent exposure in a gas station parking lot landed the two in jail. Sullivan County Sheriff's Department tells News 5 that Crystal Franson told them she agreed to perform sexual acts with Gary Tipton for a better deal on a car. Officers say witnesses called 911 after seeing the two in the BP gas station parking lot along Highway 394 in Bluntville. Both were arrested. Crystal was charged with prostitution. Gary Tipton was charged with patronizing a prostitute. And imagine this, drug possessions. It turns out he had a, had a little dope in his car, too. Had a fucking blunt on him. All, <laughs> all car dealers are fronts. That'll make your dick go soft for, pretty quick. Won't for it? drug mules. Here's, here's you want the police showing up where you're getting a hold job? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you your dick so hard, the cat can't scratch it. <laughs> and then Noodle City. Yeah. Really. Within like a second and a half. You were yeah. like, look, officer, I have done a mountain of blow off the dashboard of this car, and even that will not keep my dick up if you keep looking through that window, all right? You need to just go on for like... 45 I seconds mind. I can get this I was done, almost really. There. And you I had to mind. walk up. I don't it's mind close. being arrested. 
just just arrest <laughs> me in two minutes. That's right, man. Look, we were we we go. We, uh, deal's a deal, officer. Um, here's my favorite part about this, Crystal. Do you think she was at like one of the police to show up? Do you, do you think she was like, "Don't arrest me, I'll suck your dick"? Yeah, really. <laughs> like, like, do you think like there's no way that was the first cop car that pulled by? She just blew three other ones. I don't think I don't think that she's that smart though. Because here's the deal: what, what was the first thing you did? You put a number on yours. You were like, "Well." I'd take a shot in the mouth for ten grand off. <laughs> Crystal hadn't asked exactly how good a deal she was going to be getting. Did she, she get just, a deal? No, no, she didn't. She they got busted and, and taken to jail. She didn't even get to buy her car. She got to pay her bail instead, I suppose, if she had any money saved up. But I mean, but, her husband's going to get a good deal in the car. <laughs> by the end of the day, she could have got the son of a bitch for free if she had just kept sucking dick. I mean, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She's just like, trying to make ends meet. Yeah. Well, and and I gotta you you guys haven't seen the pictures. I've got the mug shots of the of the two of these. Oh, are they beasts? Uh, yokels. Yeah. Neither one of them are, are what you'd call prize winners. Um, but one of them looks I, like a car dealer, and the other one looks like a uh, stay at home mom. That the, the other county, one looks like a kind of chick who'd suck dick to get a better deal. Yeah. Than a car. The county blowjob champ. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know that I'd call her the champ. Gary definitely looks though like he he works at a used car lot. So what I'm saying is, you're probably right. A couple more BJ's. Uh, maybe some IOUs or whatever. She probably could have had it on a rent-to-own type situation. So, uh, speaking of poor choices, uh, I got a Man Scout badge. All right. So, Man Scout badges, they're like Boy Scout badges. But, you know, they're they are manned up, so you don't feel so gay walking around with a bunch of patches on your chest. They're dirty is what he means to say. Not all of them. Yes. Uh, so, this week's badge is fire safety. <laughs> so, fire safety... Uh, for Boy Scouts, as you learn, like how many uh, like fire extinguishers should be in a house, or um, like how if you're clearing away um, from your campfire, how far it needs to be clear away from it, and all that. You have to stop procrastinating and finish the story. Oh, That's such bullshit! <laughs> I love it. That's you such got bullshit. Used. <laughs> Damn it. I love it. You know what's awesome? Because this is the story where I was going to nail it. The streak continues, though. The fucking guest keeps winning it, dude. Every time. Every time we've had a guest. Every time we've had a guest, they do. Sorry. They get the, the word of the day. It hurts, no, man. It I, hurts. Think it's, I think it's because they get to sit on the sidelines and poach. That's what Pretty I think much. it's like. That's exactly what it is. Are they you don't kidding? have to carry the show. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not worried about forward progression. They're like, I don't know what their, uh, what their lineup is. Fucking so vultures. I'll sit over here and wait. And oh, like, I don't know what they're talking about. All Dang. I'm waiting on is to ask one question. <laughs> <laughs> Procrastivate. Nailed it. Uh, I, I'm, I, so fire we were safety. so rudely interrupted. Sorry. Huh. Fire safety. To make a long story longer. Yeah. Uh, so so the, the Boy Scouts get a fire safety badge. Man Scouts get their fire safety badge once they figure out how to keep it from burning when they pee. So they've hooked up with a spurious woman. <laughs> They go to the bathroom, it burns when they pee. Well, when they finally man up and go to the clinic, instead of spreading that shit around and get a pill and a powder to cure it, then you get your fire safety badge. Get a little pin up in You're there. not spreading a forest fire, man. You're containing it and putting it out. It's like a man should. It's all about can, only you can prevent <laughs> forest fires. Yeah. Uh, that was one of your poor choice subjects, wasn't it? You got, you got your man scout badge on poor choices that you made uh you know what the, the i kind of knew is, it going in well the the you your theory is they're like you like who you are we were actually just talking about this the other day because every now and again when honey bun found me i was uh a wild and roving young man let's just put it like i was enjoying being and you were an a ex-husband. drunken rogue i was i was enjoying being an ex-husband yes and uh and I was enjoying being single again. And in she liked that fine at the time because it meant that she could hook up with me. What she doesn't like now that she's got me and it's all settled is that there's a there's a laundry list of names that she occasionally thinks about. And every now and again it'll get in her craw and she'll raise a stink about it. It did the other night. You and uh, uh, Mrs. Other Guy were over at the house and she made some little comment and I got all in a huff and we stormed out of the door. Where the fuck was I going with this? What were we just talking? We were talking about putting out forest fires. Yeah. Bad choices. Ah, bad. So, but anyway, the he, other guy was trying to, other guy was trying to put out the fire for me. Uh, and he was saying for him, he's like, well, I like who I am. I can't take back any of them because it would change who I became. Mm-hmm. So even the bad choices were fine choices in retrospect. Yeah. 
even perhaps the diseased ones. I don't know that I would go so far there. You, this is this is where you and I uh, wander into separate paths. As long as you're containing the forest fire, they're not spreading that. Look, shit. it's not like I'm going around finding chicks with VD and just hooking up with them. It's well, a, it's kind of exactly what it was like, dude. Hey, <laughs> hey, you roll the dice. Sometimes it comes up snake eyes. I got you. I got you. I I do. Uh, I do not have my forest fire badge. I don't. I as far as I know, I've never contracted a venereal disease. But how many people have you slept with, and they've told someone else that you did have your forest fire badge? How many people have they claim have have have, have claimed, claimed that you gave them VD? Oh, I gave them VD. I didn't give it to you. You gave it to me. <laughs> I would hope I haven't been anybody's scapegoat. I don't know. I uh, perhaps I have that. I hope I don't have that reputation with anybody. I don't know. Now I'm trying to think of my ex girlfriends who would who would lie you, about me and should, say that I gave. You them. should probably Google that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I had crabs once. Got them the first night I stayed in the dorm at a college that I went to. So what was her name? And, and there was no name. <laughs> I, we we I checked into my I stayed dorm. in that dorm all night. It's <laughs> better let me come up for air. Um, no, I I we I loaded all my stuff in the dorm room and everything, and they said, "Hey, we're they're having a big welcoming party tonight at this guy's house for all the people in this particular apartment that I went to school in." I was like, "All right, whatever, let's go." Didn't know a soul there, but it was cold, and they were burning a they were burning a fire, and uh, I, they said, "Hey, man, what, do you mind going and getting a couple more sticks on the?" and sticking them on the fire and I was like oh no no sweats right outside the back door I loaded stuff up throw it on the fire and I must have done that it automatically became my job to keep the fire going right so I stoked the fire all night had a bunch of and it was a margarita party you're drinking I was loading this wood you're drinking you got to urinate and if you tell that me that wood you... had poison ivy all over it oh my god and I oh I had I had to shit all over my hands. Did you find that out when you went cock. home and procrastinated? Yeah, that's right. Hey, well done. Um, just a little bit too late, but well done. <laughs> um, but no, it. Um, I, I was sorry. Telling this my woman's already been pleased. No, I was telling my telling about the first venereal disease thing, and I, I get home from the dorm, and the next morning I wake up and I'm just itching all over. It's like, dude, did I hook up with somebody last night? Because I didn't think I got wasted. <laughs> I mean, he's like, no, you were, you didn't hook up with anybody. I was like, fuck, man, I've got this stuff all over my cock. <laughs> and I don't know what the fuck it is. but <laughs> And he's like, you too. Because roommates, we were both keeping the fire going. We were kind of like being like. Rubbing two sticks together. Initiated. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> man, let me tell you what. And anybody that touched that firewood and put logs on that fire that night. Uh, that thought that they woke up with some kind of venereal disease. Hey, I, it had poison ivy all over us, and we did finally figured out what it was. But I thought that I'd hooked up with some chicken. I tell you what, uh, you learn to wash your hands real fast after you eat crawfish for the first time. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you'll think you caught something. Oh. Well, eating crawfish anyway, I mean, it's so hot. I feel like I blew the devil half the time when I eat it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> why does the, why does the de- like, the devil's dick's just a giant flame? <laughs> yeah, that's what you would think of. If the devil had a dick, you would think it would shoot out fire. <laughs> He's coming lava, just raining down yeah. all over you. Every time a Gino's volcano erupts, is- every time the volcano erupts, it's the devil just coming all over the world. That's a very that's uh, dark. It, it, it is. That's a that's a very dark way of looking at things. I don't think I don't think the I I yeah I don't think that I don't think the dick's I don't think the devil's dick is uh, a Satan's fiery, got an uh, Asian lance. fetish, man. You think so? Oh yeah, yellow fever. Look out! How, especially how many fucking for that volcanoes are over the, there. The, especially for the orangutan. What was her name again? Pony. <laughs> I want to know how you knew the story of of Pony the orangutan. No I, I've read it. I've, the, it. She's popped up in a couple of different articles that I've read. What um, the fuck are you reading, man? I <laughs> Here, here's what I read Crack. today. Crack.com mostly. Uh, <laughs> it's it's dangerous to be a DJ. Oh, really? Particularly in Pittsburgh. This this is a place, and at first I was thinking this was a radio DJ because it's about um, people getting upset when you don't play their requests, which is the thing that I deal with on a daily fucking basis. Everybody wants you to play their song. Here's the problem. Every single person has a different song, right? And there's thousands and thousands of people listening to the station at any given moment. If you want your song played, and I played it for you, then I wouldn't be playing anybody else's song. It's a very complicated thing to do. 
occasionally you have to let somebody down. That's what happened in Pittsburgh. These folks got a little upset about it. Pittsburgh, a local family is accused of beating up a bar security guard after a DJ wouldn't play the song they requested. It happened at the bar Savoy in the Strip District this past weekend. Police say 29-year-old Dion Day Jr., who requested the song, was arrested in addition to the two family members, 50-year-old Dion Day Sr. and 25-year-old Dorian Day, after they all teamed up and attacked a security guard. I like that it was a family effort. Dad and nephew and the son all in on it. Beat Play the shit some scanner. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Well, I yeah, want to know what song it was. I mean, was it worth it? Yeah, really? that's, that's did they get the their key. money's worth. The um the the article doesn't say what what song would be worth beating the shit out of a security guard for. Baby yeah. got back. <laughs> Eighteen in life. Yeah. <laughs> oh know. yeah. Summer '69 for me. That's sometimes you just got to get a little Brian Adams in there. Yeah. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> get your first real six string yeah um <clears throat> let's do an if you could real quick and then put a button on it this is going to be a, a short show and then i have a tease oh nice all right that's I how like i roll it. these days oh yeah. hey by the way we we did get some feedback real quick last week uh i mentioned the idea of uh, doing stickers our mutual friend is in but he wants us to do uh real simple like the 2g1p like you see like the like I'm trying to think of another one that. Yeah, but like people that. who don't know what that is is go- it, like it's going to be made into something dirty. Two G one P. Two girls, one penis. <laughs> yeah, I well look. Nice. There's a certain Not amount of them there. <laughs> yeah, like that's what's gonna that's there's, what's gonna happen. There's a there's a certain amount. Of, that's a great one. I've it's never that was never occurred to me that two G one P is two girls, one penis. Hmm. Look at that. Um, Oddly enough, one's just a hermaphrodite. <sighs> <laughs> I guess you gotta ruin it. Why you gotta <laughs> ruin it? Uh, uh, anyway, two guys one pod dot com. Two you girls, want to by. two vaginas. There's no one penis. There are no <laughs> girls. There are no vaginas. Two guys one pod dot com is the place where you should stop by. Listen to all of the shows. You can subscribe to us in iTunes. You can click the support links and uh, buy stuff from Amazon. Uh, get the same stuff you were going to get at the same price. It won't cost you anything extra, but we'll get a few shekels for sending you their way. We appreciate that. If you're interested in stickers, if you like the idea of stickers, and if you got an idea for the design, email me, two guys, one pod at me.com. Two guys, one pod at me.com. I think we should make it to where we, we have to take a listener's design. I don't like that idea because I don't trust the listeners necessarily. No, I'm, I mean, I, odds are I'm going to be the only one that sends one in, so I'm the winner. Mm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like ding, it. Ding, ding, ding. Winner, right. winner, sheen dinner. <laughs> if uh, if you if you discovered a new island, what would you name it? Oh man, that's a tough. What's on the island? Whatever Where is it you located? Want Whatever you want. My two favorite things in the world. <laughs> what is that? Tits and golf island. <laughs> tits and the golf. Tits and golf island. Yeah. The tits, tits and golf island is an island. Let me tell you something. Where are you gonna go on vacation? Oh, you know it. Old tits and golf. <laughs> tits- Saint tits and golf. <laughs> <laughs> The name of the island is St. Tits and Golf. St. Tits and Golf. Let me tell you something. I think that's the title of the show. Where you can go to the Church of St. Andrews. <laughs> yes, yeah. the Church of St. Andrews. Let me tell you something. That would be, I think, the premier destination for business executives. And Tiger Woods. Uh, retirees. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that senator from South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, dude. Fucking Appalachian Trail and Tits and Golf Island. <laughs> that would be the only place to go. Uh, Tits and Golf Island is going to be hard to, to overcome. Um I, I I hadn't even thought about this one before I asked you two guys. You got it. You made the you made the good question though, which is I should have thought about where where is the island and what's on it. I could, do we get to pick everything? I guess yeah. You place it anywhere in the fucking world the, you want to. Uh, the, the Testes Island. I, if you could, I would do something like like I would have like a tropical island and place it right next to fucking Antarctica. Like it's fucking freezing, right? In Antarctica, but all, just on my island, it's, it's fucking summer's day in Hawaii. Man. Always, always. Well, and nobody said you could break the rules of physics in the universe or anything. Yeah, yeah. What's my island? Oh, well, the, all right then. It's my world. You're just living in it. Boss. Yes, indeed. And, and on my island, it would just be called "fuck you." Guess <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got we got tits and golf and fuck you. Uh, I don't uh, the tropical island right next to Antarctica. I I got to tell you, like 
if I if I bought an island today, or if for some reason I was given an island, if I discovered an island and I got to put a flag down and automatically that meant I owned it, I'd name it Two Guys One Pod Island, and that way I could be fucking advertisement. Because you know, if somebody just happened upon, if some random person got an island, all of a sudden it'd be big news. It'd be all over the place. I'd fucking use it for advertising. Uh, you said you had a tease. Yeah. Next episode, a new tales from the other side, where I hook up with my best friend's aunt. It's a terrible. St- I mean, it's a good story, but it's. I'm ashamed for having heard it before. I can't wait to listen to that. Yeah, it's a good story. Next week on Two Guys One Pod dot com. Uh, don't forget to stop by the website. Hey, the if you like the band from last week, and they're actually going to be. We're going to use another song this week. They they are the Oh Hellos. By the way, I looked it up in the interim. The Oh Hellos. Uh, last week's song was uh, Second Child, Restless Child. I'm not sure the song this week, but uh, you can still download that album for free, and there'll be links on the website, twoguysonepod.com. If you've got suggestions for the show, email those, twoguysonepod at me.com, and subscribe and review us in iTunes. It's a big help and helps us um, spread the word. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again next week. Until then, uh, I'm one guy. And I'm the other. And you are? Diamond Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been the <laughs> podcast. While I was sleeping in the garden when I saw. that he could work And like the dawn you broke the dark my whole earth shook Well I was sleeping in the garden when I saw you I My bones and flesh of my flesh at
surely be the death of me But how could I have known Changing the name of my island. Excellent. All right. To Oopsie Island. Oopsie Island? Why Oopsie? Because, you know, it's placed right next to Antarctica, but it fucking oh, is never it cold. Nice. It's like, ah, uh, Oopsie. It was like, Oopsie. <laughs> Do you think it would be like, uh, it'd be where all the creationists go? They'd be like, see, this proves intelligent design. Yeah. No, you don't have anything. I th- man, I thought you'd have a button for that one. Fuck. Sorry. Nah, that's all right. I was, I was too busy thinking about something. I wasn't really paying attention to what oh. you had to say after that, by the that's way. That's all right. <laughs> 